Felix Stone has just come over on the foot ferry from Harwich, which is now making its back way over to there. And this is what I left here is Langard Fort, which uh, there's been a fort here since 1540. It used to be called Langer Fort, and uh, it was built up over time. I think it was decommissioned for military use in the 1970s or something. Anyway, we're walking up to operate from the beach, HF. It's quite windy. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, we've, uh, we've decided we're going to operate from here. Uh, just here. Uh, out of there. Giving a little bit of shelter from the wind here. Anyway, we'll just set up and then I'll come back and tell you what we're doing. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, Richard's uh, just uh, extending the uh, three radials. So we've got three radials, we've got the jaws clamp onto this old bolt on here. So uh, I'm not sure how far that goes through, not very far. And then we've got the 17 foot MFJ whip up there. And uh, we've got a guy in just to uh, stop it keeling over too much. So one of the tugs going past, not sure which one that is, I'll take a picture of that on the camera. So I bought my camera with a zoom and uh, we'll Richard just hooking the antenna up to the analyzer make some fine adjustments if necessary and then he's brought his uh, 857 with him the Asu FT 857 no way one to one one so I'm 14035 there you go I think that will do all right let's crack on for United One Alpha, that's the uh, UN building in Vienna. Yeah, QSL Golf Zero November Alpha Delta Portable, you also find the line 73. 73, thanks for the contact. So I just took a photo of that boat there. I'm just going to have a look on Marine or on uh, Ship Finder. See what. And that tug there is the Switzer Schottley. Uh, so I used to years ago upload loads of photos to this ship finder and then they made it really difficult to do it um, so you can see that I'll take a screenshot so it's just gone past us and we're where the blue dot is obviously to echo zero whiskey mic golf portable you're also five nine Roger yeah two echo zero right Roger Roger whiskey mic golf seven three thanks very much bye bye yeah seventy three I am for United one America this morning we're sat just outside the port of Felixstowe, the port of Felixstowe on the east coast of the UK and uh, it's a nice sunny day and uh, we're just sat on the beach making a few contacts. Oh, well, thanks for that. Thanks for good report. You're also coming in nice and strong five band plus. Well, I, w I will be coming back uh, to the UK very uh, uh, horrid, so uh, I believe that's uh, just a stop. And that's with it off. One, two, three, four, five. Back on one, two, three, four, five. I wonder if you could just give me a quick audio check there, Hogan, if you don't mind. Thank you. Back to you. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, I think it's easier to copy. It's easier to copy when it's off. Oscar Fox. <laughs> So, we're having problems with the speech compressor, it's actually mine. Um, I just uh, tried it on and off, get an audio report, and he's saying it's better with it off, so... <laughs> there you go. That wind is really whipping in here now. See the aerial up there, and the guy? 
and uh, the other side there we've got a container boat coming in although there's no containers on it it's an empty boat Okay, so we've got a container vessel coming in now. This is uh, is empty. It's come from Rotterdam. And it's the Varga Maersk. So it's Maersk shipping line, which is quite distinctive. And that's the uh, Switzer Schottny, which has got a, a stern rope on it. Probably stopping the back end blowing round in the uh, in the wind. And uh, we've got another boat here. I'll take a photo of that one. Not sure what that one is. Have a look. That looks like the Spitzer Kent to me. So I'll take a photo of that. Oh, oh I nearly got wet then. As that comes down here, it'll, it'll uh, be illuminated a bit by it, better by the sun that's behind me. So I'll take a photo of it. And we've got a pilot vessel over there in the distance. I'll take a photo of that as well. And Richard's working away on 20, doing okay. And I've got my uh, little Yaesu VR120 uh, receiver. It's on um, channel 9 at the moment, Marine Channel 9, uh, which is the uh, frequency that the tug pilots use. It's uh, probably worked about a dozen stations now on 20. We could, uh, oh, I've got a face full of spray then. Uh, we could try uh, uh, retracting the, uh, the aerial a little bit and uh, trying some of the higher higher HF bands, but we need to start packing up fairly soon to catch the, uh, catch the half past 12 uh, boat back to Harwich. Yeah, thanks Leonardo, seven threes. Ciao, ciao for now. Sorry, 14291. 14295.5. So we've just had a text message from Michael, Golf 5 Alpha Uniform Golf, up in Scotland, and uh, we're going to try and work in. Might be Golf Mike 5 Alpha Uniform Golf. This is Golf Zero. Golf November. Mike 5 Alpha, Alpha Uniform Golf, up in Glasgow, but he might be too close. Skip zone. It's too near. Golf Mike 5 Alpha Uniform Golf. Mike Golf Mike 5 Alpha Uniform Golf. This is Golf Zero November Alpha Delta Portable. Retrieving the, retrieving the radials, I think he's getting splashed. Are you getting wet? <laughs> yeah. It's about eight minutes to take everything down. Richard's uh, doing his civic duty and picking up a coke can. There's nothing to do with us. So these are old uh, defences from the Second World War. Not many boats in today. But the closer you get to those boats, the more impressive they are because they're huge. And obviously we've got a a radar up there. So Langard Fort is now managed by English Heritage and you can go in there because it's a it's a museum now. So check it out. Ferry. Cheers. <laughs> New tradition. Post activation ice cream.
Okay, so we got off the ferry, and Richard just showing me his uh, his mountain bike, which is uh, is modified. It's now an e-bike. So I'm going to take it for a spin, and Richard's going to film me. Oh, I'm not going to stand in front of you because. Uh... Yeah, you might want to sort of start pedalling just to get going and then hit the throttle when you're off, mate. You, yeah, yeah. You've got the right safety equipment on, got sunglasses, all you need. That's <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? It's bloody good, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, go for it, mate. You can get a proper run. See how fast you can go. Let's get a clear run this time. A quarter mile. I reckon it must be within about 30 mile now. <laughs> what do you think? It's fast, isn't it? <laughs> Holy moly. The display. Did you see? Did you clock how fast? Oh, I did. Oh, I'll have to have another go. Now. Yeah, it's in kph, but yeah, at the moment I've got to find out how to change it. It's got to be a setting for twenty <laughs> mile per hour.